Isn't that a wonderful beginning? Dr. Cranium's happy, smiling face most greets us. winning smile. Yes, his most glorious scientific smile greets us to this next video of Quest for Glory 4, Shadows of Darkness. All right, let's continue our fascinating conversation with the good doctor. Let's uh, ask him about scientific elements. Earth is for solidity and stability. Air gives freedom and movement. Fire provides power and energy, water, fluidity, and life. Pizza, of course, is the most important element of all. Pizza represents the essence of well-roundedness and regaining strength. Most importantly, you can have it delivered in under half an hour in most areas. Sorry. Yes, I'm sure Mordavia has excellent uh, high-speed pizza delivery. Uh, boy, I feel like making a snow crash joke, but I just can't pull one up at this moment in time, so I'll just continue. What's a hypothesis? A hypothesis is a scientific guess. One predicts the result of an operation, performs an experiment to test the prediction, then has a pizza to celebrate the result. Yeah, that's what I always do. It is very important to stay flexible, however. Sometimes the experiment may give a different result than predicted by the hypothesis. Since real scientists don't like to make mistakes, we always write the hypothesis in pencil. And also with all those pens clipped to your pocket protector there. Maybe they're mechanical pencils. Eh, okay. And let's tell us, uh, or ask him to tell us about pizza. Pizza is a crucial ingredient in many scientific formula. There is a nearly infinite variation in its effects, depending on whether one starts with pepperoni, mushrooms, artichokes, or plain cheese. One should always order extra pizza in case the experiment requires additional materials. Besides, science is hungry work. Alright, well that was a fascinating discussion of experiments. Uh, let's see, I already asked him about stamina potions, didn't I? That's basically his way, yeah, that's his way of saying there's no such thing as a stamina potion. Let's ask about something else. That was all about science. Who's Igor, good friend? Igor is the gravedigger and tombstone carver. Business has been slow lately because people there are very, oh, because, perhaps because there are very few people left in town, so Igor sometimes comes in to help me with my work. Yeah, he mentioned Igor when we walked in, and he said something about Igor. He must have the fluid. Tell us about Igor's business. Igor has had less work of late. The forest is just as dangerous, but there aren't very many people left in town who are stupid enough to go out there at night. I like to think of it as a sort of evolution in action. Ah, yes, a Darwin word kind of thing. Ah, uh, gravestones. Igor is carving out quite a niche for himself in the gravestone business. You might say he is well on his way to becoming a rock star. Then again, you might not. Very clever. Oh, ho, ho. He you... certainly lives up to his name. Yes, you are so funny, Doctor. You are a funny, funny man. Uh, and what about the cemetery? The cemetery is outside of town, to the east. It has proven a fruitful source of materials for my experiments. There are some interesting and cryptic puzzles to be solved there. Okay, that was funny. That, that was so funny. I need to ask about the fluid now. Essential etheric fluid is an important ingredient in my formula for reanimating dead bodies. It contains the essence of the element of water, the most important ingredient in life science. I thought pizza was the uh, most important. Well, I guess the pizza... Uh, I have no idea. You know what? I, I, I think he's a little bit lost in his own ideology, so I, I wouldn't want to shatter his fragile mentality too much. I'll just let him... We could talk about mad scientists while we're on the subject. Uh... Sure. Mad? Mad? They all call me mad, but what do they know of madness? I am not mad. A bit perturbed about the world situation and how I get so little respect, perhaps. But certainly not mad. Yeah, okay, sure. Tell us about your laboratory, friend. This laboratory is where I perform some of my most important research. Lately, I've been trying to bring life back to a dead body and to brew up the perfect cup of tea. Those go well together. Reanimating the dead and bring the perfect cup of tea. Okay, ask about dead to life. Oh, reanimating the dead is just another day's work in the life of a scientist. Even science cannot bring a person back quite the way they were, but one can use scientific principles to restore the semblance of life and energy to formerly dead flesh. <laughs> um. Science! Wow, he, d he looks like... Uh, he <laughs> He looks like one of those formerly dead... He looks like a nutcracker. Yeah. I love the way this game just sort of interrupts their animation. When you, when you click on something, it just sort of stops them in mid-animation. and They just hold their face. 
One of these days your, your face is going to freeze that way, Doctor. All right, tell us about Perfect T. The one alchem alchemical, al alchemical? Alchemical. Alchemical combination that I have thus far been unable to fully analyze is that of a good cup of tea. I'm sure there must be a way to duplicate the effects of nature, but the results have not been promising so far. Perhaps you would like a cup of spearmint and beefsteak tea? I thought not. This is even harder than rehydration solution in reviving dead tissue. Hmm. Tell me about your research, sir. Research is the heart and soul of science. Without constant experimentation to prove or disprove one's hypotheses, the scientist is left trying to solve the world's problems by guesswork. That is hardly the most efficient way to achieve results. All right, and what about your lab equipment? I try to maintain a modest selection of useful experimental equipment in my simple laboratory. Unfortunately, it has, become it has become very difficult to obtain the most modern scientific accessories since the road out of the valley became enclosed by the swamp. All right, uh, I think we're done with this screen. Uh, did I already ask about the laboratory? This laboratory so. is where I perform some of my most important research. Yeah, yeah, oh, I, did that. I asked about. Yeah, I asked about oh, that. Oh, let me kiss you. Oh, that's a door. Okay, okay, make that stop. I need to ask about something real, qu something <laughs> else real quick. Uh. <laughs> okay, and now he's back to normal. That's fine. Do you ask about the fluid? Yeah, I asked about. I asked about everything here, huh? Mm -hmm. I guess we're done. Okay. Oh, notice I have an empty flask icon. The doctor was kind enough to kind enough to give us an empty flask. We have two empty flasks. Each weighs two quarks. These empty flasks are useful for storing liquids and powders. Also, the red potion here is a poison cure potion. It weighs five quarks. A poison antidote could save your life. And the yellow one is a healing potion. Also weighs five quarks. It's a healing potion, just another of the wonders science has brought to modern medicine. It's undoubtedly magical, but it would probably be best if you didn't mention that to Dr. Cranium. Okay, yeah, he probably couldn't handle that. His fragile little mind would just break and shatter. If I click the mouth on myself... Hello, Dr. Cranium. You say hello to the scientist. Welcome to my laboratory. You must have more than the usual intelligence and perseverance to have made it in here. Yeah, we solved a puzzle. We solved one puzzle, wow. Uh, introduce myself. You introduce yourself to Dr. Cranium and tell him a little about your adventures. I should be most interested to hear about your travels and your scientific discoveries along the way. Unfortunately, I have very little time for that right now. Perhaps we can discuss your adventures when you next return. Um, tell him about magic. You explain to Dr. Cranium that magic is really a lot like science and even deals with the same elements. I don't think it's really like science, though. Nonsense! There is no such thing as magic. There is only science. What you call magic is simply scientific phenomena that have not been properly investigated and cataloged. Okay. Uh, let's make the thief sign. You thumb your nose, rub your belly, and so on. I was afraid of that! As an outsider here, you have apparently not yet built up an immunity to the Mordavian dancing sickness. <laughs> We used to have several people in town who exhibited those symptoms, but I have not seen any cases in quite some time. Let us hope the disease does not prove fatal in your case. Uh, yeah, okay. Goodbye, Dr. Cranium. You say goodbye to Dr. Cranium. Please be careful not to break the beakers or crack the flasks on your way out. Alright. Let's take a quick look around while we're here. Uh, what's this, uh... Tesla coil or whatever it is. A contraption looking like nothing quite so much as a giant ray gun points towards the operating table. Now wait just a second. There's no such thing as a ray gun in Mordavia, is there? Apparently. Uh, I guess, uh, well, maybe we just disproved that hypothesis. Let's take a look at this table. Dr. Cranium has an orderly personality, so he likes to arrange things in tables. Uh, it's clever, but what's on this table? That doesn't really say anything about it. Dr. Cranium likes to stay ahead of his competitors. Ha ha ha, <laughs> ahead. Oh, that's great. That's this flask full of eyeballs. It's a beaker full of eyes, and they all seem to be looking at you. Okay, that's just disturbing. Glass globes of unknown intent hang in nets from the ceiling. What's this uh, flask here? It looks for all the world like a medieval moonshine still, but Dr. Cranium is far too intelligent to drink alcohol, so he must be developing a new fuel or something. Yeah, he's developing biodiesel, or whatever. Some more flasks over here. Some sort of complicated scientific experiment is going on here. Could it be the quest for the perfect cup of tea? What's this thing here? You're an incredibly cluttered laboratory of flasks, vials, jars, and tubing cover every surface. Experiments are in progress everywhere. 
All right. Well, that was uh, that's all been fun, but I think uh, I think it's time for us to leave. Bye, Doctor Cranium. Come back and visit again. Oh, and if you see Igor, please tell him I still need the fluid. Yeah. All right. It's time to leave Dr. Cranium's lab. Yeah, you need to see him very quickly at the start of the game because we need that rehydration solution. You might have noticed he mentioned the rehydration solution. We need that. And so um, uh, I'll explain more about that later, but I'm actually out of time on this video, so I'm sorry I'll have to stop the video here. All right, thank you for watching, everyone. We'll talk to you later. Bye for now. Bye-bye.